won't be so bad if we take the tutor wizard's advice and break it down into more manageable steps. Find the derivative, square it, so on. Just like make a lunch. Nice pasta. It's not that bad if you break that down into manageable steps as well. Step one, boil some water. Salt. Now while that's going, let's complete the first step here. You gotta find the derivative of this guy right here. Not bad, one step. Done. Next, let's get the pasta sauce going. Step two of the pasta and sauce done. Look at that. While that's going, next step, square this. There we go, just like that. Open the can of tomatoes. We're cruising. Now I'm kinda doing some hand wavy sh here. But the way to do it properly, go watch the Tudor Wizards videos. This one in particular is in the multivariable calculus playlist. The water's just about boiling, so next step, add one to this. Now let's get the pasta going in the pot. Lower the pasta so it doesn't boil over. Let's uh, rearrange this. So now we're at this point here, looking a little cleaner. So when we add one, what we're doing is... Trying to simplify, algebraically, one step at a time. And get this looking even nicer. Now next step, we gotta season the sauce. A little garlic sauce. Chili flakes. Oregano. I like to add a little bit of uh, strained tomatoes just to make it a little more saucy. Let this simmer a little bit. And now to finish this off, while well, the pasta is just about to finish, we refer to a integral table for this last little bit. And we see that the integral is the arc sine of x evaluated at one minus the arc sine of x evaluated at zero, or five by two. Oh yeah. Now it's time to add the pasta to the sauce. Always pasta the sauce. Stir it in there. Let it roast a little. And just like that, we got that figured out. We got lunch ready. Bada bing, bada boom. Got it all taken care of one step at a time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description for the Tudor Wizards playlist. See you next time.